Hello, friends of cloud storage and online backup. My name is Mauricio, and in this video, we are going to have a look at Amazon Cloud Drive. I'm reviewing this service because I got an email from a fellow cloudbackuping.com reader who was asking me if Amazon Cloud Storage is actually um, suitable for his online storage needs. And here I gotta stress the word storage because Amazon Cloud Drive is particularly more of an online storage service than an online backup service because it gives you five gigabyte of online storage for free and you can get started easily um, with your Amazon.com account. There is no other registration necessary than having an Amazon.com account, which makes it really a breeze. So we click on get started and here you type in your um, details and you'll find yourself in the Amazon web client. There is no software that you have to download. So you have to manage everything here from within your browser. And this might be nothing new for some of you people, but for some, this is actually quite a, they have to get used to the idea of managing everything in the cloud. But the advantage is that you can access your files from everywhere you go, knowing just your Amazon login credentials. So Amazon's Cloud Drive actually organizes your files here with some folders. So there's a document folder, a music, pictures, and a videos folder. But obviously you can add new folders. And I will add my test files folder. And this is a folder of, well, I'm going to upload roughly one gigabyte in files. So there are music files, audio files, um, pictures, and videos that I'm going to upload. I, I, I'm trying to resemble a typical backup scenario that the user that the users might face and the files that are going to be uploaded to that service. And I'm going to test how fast actually Amazon performs. I'm not particularly worried because Amazon has super fast servers. Actually, they're, they're, few people know that Amazon is one of the major players in the cloud storage and server market. Many people only know Amazon because of their books and, and, other, um, and other products. So here I'm just going to upload files into my test files folder and I'm just going to hit the select files to upload button um, keep in mind however that the, your upload size file limit is two gigabytes so you cannot upload files that are larger that exceed those two gigabytes and this is an important restriction especially if you consider buying additional storage because if you have huge movie files for example you will not not be able to upload those to um, the Amazon Cloud Drive. Also, you cannot upload folders. You have to select individual files. So you have to shift click and go through your file list. I find that actually quite annoying because I have organized all my files in, in, in folders. Or you can just command click to select individual files and upload them. So here you can see my files. And I'm just going to scroll way down to the list and select all the files here and click on open. So now the files are being um, processed by Amazon. And you can see here at the top bar the details of the upload process and follow along if you want to. So here you can see that the progress has been started and it's going to take roughly an hour. But you can see that the minutes are shrinking um, by the second, basically. So I'm supposing I'm going to need like half an hour to upload this gigabyte um, here. So I'm just going to pause the video quickly and I hope you're going to join me here right now. Okay, so everything has been uploaded. It didn't take longer than half an hour and all the files here have been uploaded successfully as you can see here. So you can add more files if you forget to upload something, for example, or you just click on the top right corner on the done button and then you can see all your beautiful files on your um, cloud storage here. So here you can see there is the test files folder and I click on it and you can access all the files that you have uploaded. Now I could go and click on the files and preview those and listen actually to the audio files, but I'm not going to do that right now as this is <laughs> going to bother you for sure. So the, you can do this with video files, pictures and audio files that Amazon understands. So MP3s and WAVs, for example. And now you have a couple of actions that you can perform. You can move those items, for example, if you want to move or copy them to other um, folders in your backups to organize yourself a little better. 
because accidentally it might occur that you've uploaded your files to the wrong directory and then you want to correct that later. So as you can see, 18% of our five gigabyte is in use, but you can purchase additional storage here. And let's have a look quickly at the plans at how much um, Amazon charges for storage. So what we can see here is that um, the first paid plan starts at 20 gigabyte and costs only $20 per year. So this is around, or this is exactly one uh one dollar per gigabyte per year which is actually more on the expensive side but you can go up to one thousand gigabyte which is a terabyte and lets you store a lot of data for a thousand dollars per year there are services that offer unlimited online backup and storage for well less than five dollars per month so well this is not actually a cheap provider here um but what is actually favorable is that you can download music from the Amazon Music Store and the music you download is not going to be added to your storage quota. This is actually a great advantage here. Of course, you can search your files as well. For example, if you're looking for that particular music file in your huge music library that covers thousands of songs, well, let me just unselect that quickly. Um, let's say you're looking for that song. So obviously you have to know how that song is named, how your file is named. And then you go to the um, top right hand corner and type in the song name, for example. And there it appears almost immediately. And then you can download the song or um, click the song to play it directly in the browser. Speaking of downloading your file, so let's go back to the test file. Let's say we want to download um, a couple of files here. The bad thing here is that you cannot download multiple files. As you can see, it is restricted. You can only download file per file. So um, this is actually, well, almost for me a deal breaker because if you lose your data and if you need your data fast, you always want to have a batch download of your files and not go and click through thousands of files. So um, Amazon should really change that policy because um, for that price, I think this is a no-go. If you are a US customer, you can uh, use the Amazon Cloud Player and play your purchased MP3s directly um, with the Cloud Player on the iPad or on an Android device. So um, I unfortunately cannot show you um, this feature because I'm living in Germany and I would have to use a proxy server from the United States um, to get to launch the Cloud Player because if I click on the Cloud Player, it says um, automatically that it is for US customers only. But if you're from the US, you can obviously use that and you can um, actually upload your MP3s via a software that you can download from Amazon.com that is using Adobe Air as an interface, as a cross-platform interface. So I'm gonna go just close that here. And I hope I could show you what you can do with Amazon Cloud Drive and show you probably if Amazon Cloud Drive is something for you. I mean, they give you five gigabyte of free storage, which is something which is on the upper end of the free storage providers. There is, for example, Dropbox, which only gives you two gigabyte of storage, but there are more advantages that come along with Dropbox as well. So if you are looking for extra online storage for a couple of files, you might want to consider um, Amazon Cloud Drive. So if you like this video, well, please vote for it and recommend it to your friends and family and also have a look at my other videos on online storage services and online backup providers. And I hope I can really help you with choosing the best online backup service for your needs because your data deserves it. Thank you very much for listening and watching this video. We're going to see us next time.